Paris, hey, good to see you're doing okay, man. Um, if you don't mind me asking, what happened with the car accident and how worried were you? And where was your head at with the season coming up in a couple of weeks and another curveball thrown your way? You've had a lot this in your Colts career. Yeah, uh, I mean, it was just, it was, uh, it was just another bump in the road. Uh, I mean, you know, stuff like that happens, but, you know, I was just thinking to myself, like, what are the odds, you know, this close to the season, um, you know, but I'm healthy, you know, I'm blessed to be able to, you know, be talking to you guys and you know, it was just another bump in the road. I'm not, you know, I'm not too, you know, concerned about it because I'm, I'm fine. So I'm good. Andrew Walker. Real quick, uh, Frank said, you know, they, they said minor accident. Obviously, it's good you're okay. Your your car was pretty banged up, though, wasn't it? That's what that's oh, what yeah. Frank said. <laughs> total loss. Total loss on oh. my car. Oh, man. Um, you know, <laughs> since that time, since you've been able to work your way back, um, just how excited are you for the season to get going? You know, obviously a different year for everybody involved. And now, especially for you, just getting back to play football after last year, um, healthy, ready to go. How excited are you for this year? Man, I'm super excited. It's week one. It's here. So, um, you know, it's been, you know, a long, long off season, uh, you know, but it's finally here, man. And I was telling some of the wild outs today, like, you know, I just been, I've been just filled with energy, you know, waking up every day with a smile. I'm just ready to go. So uh, I'm excited that it's finally here. Phil B. Hey, Paris, thank you for your time. Hey, I was wondering mentally, how strong you feel like you are in terms of being able to flush surgeries, flush injuries, flush stuff that's happened to you and play the game without fear and not worrying about it. Yeah. Uh, I mean, you know, this game, obviously we all know that's a, it's a risk, you know, just playing the game itself, um, you know, but I never, you know, I never take the approach, take that approach to anything that I do. So, um, you know, I'm always positive minded, you know, I've been through a lot. Uh, I'm sure that I'm going to continue to go through a lot. Uh, you know, I'm only, you know, I'm young, 23. Uh, I've already been through a lot, but, you know, it's just it's just part of it. You know, it's part of the game. It's part of what goes on. Um, so, you know, it, it doesn't cross my mind twice. You know, I, I'm always positive-minded um, and always just ready to go. Thank you. Damn, I'm George Brammer. First, you look at the receiver room right now. It's kind of a young room uh, beyond T.Y. Hilton. Are, are you – almost a leader right now you and Zach Pascal to the the longest tenure guys even as young as you are um you know I, I definitely would say uh you know, we're in positions uh where we need to step up um and I think that's very aware that's very that's very obvious uh for us uh you know we everyone knows that TY is our leader he our leader he drives the room um just got voted captain again so um but no, nevertheless I mean obviously you know it's an opportunity for us to step up and, um, you know, kind of just take on, you know, that role, you know, uh, of helping the offense um, on game day, uh, helping the room. So um, I would say it's, it's kind of forming into that role, which is opportunity. Stephen Holder. My internet's a little shaky, so tell me if you can't hear me. Um, so I have two questions that are kind of unrelated. Um, the first one is, I was talking to Sirianni just a minute ago about just how you guys practice. And you were just talking about the intensity that you guys practice with. Um, how different has that been from college for you? And, and how does it prepare you for game day? And I'll just throw in the second one. In there. Yeah, um, I don't think it's that much different for me. Uh, I think it's very similar. Uh, I kind of tell guys all the time that um, that's, that's one of the reasons why I love being in this organization. I love that I got drafted here because it was, it's a lot of similarities to where I went to school at. Um, just the intensity of practice. Um, you know, I've been taught that from my college days that, you know, that's what breeds excellence on game day. Um, you know, so coming in and hearing the same things uh, was kind of just like, a, you know, a second home for me. Uh, so that, that, that ne nothing um, in that sense really changed. Um, if anything, it kind of elevated me to know that, you know, we're still, it's still full throttle in practice. You know, we still got to uh, give 100% in practice. So, uh, I mean, it's just like a second home. And the other question was just uh, you and Taekwon both coming from Ohio State. You both have been through a lot, too, in your short time here. Are, do you guys have much relationship? And, and have, have that been something you've been able to lean upon each other with? And how, how about that? Yeah, for sure. Uh, Taekwon is my guy, um, you know, him and Hook. Um, but, yeah, uh, you know, I feel like, um, you know, just going through school as well, 
Um, you know, I mean, a lot happened at school, you know, when we were younger guys. Um, so, I mean, at this point, I feel like we're just kind of, you know, immune to, you know, whatever. <laughs> if something happens, it just happens, man. We're able to, you know, keep pushing it and move on. Um, I think, you know, past past experiences, past things that happened has has built us for, you know, just the worst. Um, you know, we always find a way to bounce back, man. So I, I think that's just in our DNA.